First responders are asking for your help in stopping a recent string of vacant property fires in Lee County. WGEM Shakela McCammock reports in Fort Madison. Shakela. This pile of burnt furniture and ash was once a vacant home on Avenue O in Fort Madison, but this isn't the only vacant property to suspiciously catch fire within the last month. Three major fires have occurred in vacant properties in less than four weeks. Fort Madison's fire chief says these homes don't have electricity, gas, or any other utilities connected to them, so he's not sure exactly how they're starting. The only thing it could be is a, is a human factor, you know, it's someone there either trying to stay warm uh, you know, some of those old buildings that are vacant like that, we've run into them being where they're trying to scrap the copper and, the, you know, out of them. Heron says responding to vacant properties makes firefighters' jobs slightly more difficult as they don't know if someone is trapped in the building or if the building has prior damage, making the fires spread more easily. We don't know if they've been damaged. You know, people chopping holes in the floor when they're trying to take the copper out of it. They damage the building, so that makes it, uh, even more susceptible to the fire to spread. Police Chief Mark Roloff says you can help prevent these vacant home fires just by being a good neighbor. If the neighbors can make the effort to be more attentive to those residences, give us a call when they notice that something's amiss. Uh, we'll be happy to check that out. Roloff says there are a couple of things you should report if you see them. Windows that are normally closed, especially in cold weather. Properties that they know are vacant and unoccupied, that, that there's somebody there or they see a light on or somebody entering. Uh, whether or not it's actually somebody that has business being there or not, they don't have to determine that. We will take that responsibility on. Roloff warns residents, if you are someone who gets caught in one of these vacant properties in the area, you could face criminal consequences like trespassing. Reporting in Fort Madison, Shakela McCammock, WGEM News. And Roloff reminds parents to keep an eye on their children when they're playing outside to ensure they don't wander into a potentially dangerous vacant building. And report any unusual activity you see, you should contact the Fort Madison Police Department. Their number is 319-372-2525.